everybody. I wanted to give my quick thoughts on the Lego Star Wars holiday special. And this came on Disney Plus today. And this isn't really much of a riff on the holiday special, uh, which uh, is just notorious for being just absolutely terrible. It's it's just really random and maybe I guess a little bit cult classic, but it's just mostly just really terrible. And uh, there's a few little nods to the holiday special in here with some talks about Life Day and Chewbacca and his family and, and uh, what presents they're getting for Life Day, things like that. But for the most part, this is a parody film about Star Wars in general, not really the holiday special per se, but they definitely pack in the jokes. They have a lot of jokes in here about the prequels, the sequels, uh, the original trilogy. Uh, they really hold Disney itself to task, which I thought was refreshing because Disney doesn't tend to be too great at making fun of, fun of itself. There's even quite a few jokes about Galaxy's Edge and and shopping at the gift shops at, at Batu and things like that, which surprised me a little bit that they uh, kind of went even making fun of the parks and things like that. So that was refreshing. Uh, there's a lot of funny jokes about the Emperor and uh, Rise of Skywalker and the Emperor coming back. A point where there's two Darth vaders and that's kind of a, that's sort of a funny joke and a lot of jokes about kylo ren and that was pretty funny and they have some really funny jokes about the prequels in there that are really good and so if you're a star wars fan i think you'll have a good laugh at this i mean humor is super subjective but i found myself laughing quite a bit in watching it and it's not that long and so it's just like a little lark that you can enjoy and they make some even some jokes about the mandalorian i mean they just kind of pick fun at everything star wars so if you like star wars or if you don't like star wars then i think you might enjoy this film the animation is nothing to write home about it's very standard uh cg animation uh with not like the greatest rendering in the world um and then also the voice acting was pretty poor there are some talent that's in this anthony daniels kelly Marie, kelly marie tran uh, people like that that have come back for the most part it's uh, imitation voices for most of these characters the Daisy Ridley sounded nothing like her at all for Ray uh, and really I mean the Kylo Ren sounded nothing like Adam Driver they did not get that right and usually Disney does get that right so that was a little surprising to me uh, as far as the voices I did not think were on par but other than that it was entertaining I laughed quite a bit it's got a uh, it's just a sense of fun and sweetness to it and it's probably the most joyous thing about star wars that i've seen for a long time where i was just reminded you that this series is fun and uh, and so I, I i really did enjoy it quite a bit so let me know what you think it did it make you laugh was it too much for you i'd be curious for your thoughts so make sure that you are following over the homeworkies podcast we are talking all things christmas we'll have our own review of the lego star wars holiday special over there and we have netflix lifetime hallmark all the holiday content that you could want we're actually on week four if you can believe it so make sure you check out the homeworkies podcast i would really Really appreciate it and then also we have our patron group and merch store uh, where there's tons of holiday inspired designs over there and there's even a couple star wars designs inspired designs over there so check it out let me know what you think and thanks so much and we'll talk to y'all later bye everyone